continues. Shreveport getting a very special visit and it will come with hundreds of Catholic faithful. Mm. It's literally the full embalmed heart of a Catholic saint. Yeah, it hasn't left the beloved home of Belgium in nearly 400 years, but in three months it's coming to Shreveport to the church that bears the saint's name. KTBS 3's Alana Quillen spoke with a local priest to see how the heart has ties to Louisiana in this Arclatex in-depth report. Early on, there was such a great devotion to St. John Berkmas. But he had lived such a beautiful, holy, reverent life. St. John Berkman's in Shreveport is the only cathedral in the world that bears the name of the Catholic saint. He was a young Belgian man who wanted to become a priest, but died at a young age. Kind of like a modern day Mother Teresa. Father Peter Mangum is head pastor at St. John Berkman's. The body was buried in Rome, however, the heart itself was taken from his body and taken back to Belgium to be there with his people and they were able to start veneration of the heart. And it has been in Belgium ever since. We're talking about 395 years. Until now, this December, his heart is visiting Shreveport on the 150th anniversary of a miracle that ties St. John Berkman's to Louisiana. In 1866, a woman named Mary Wilson joined a convent in Grand Coteau near Lafayette. Where this young woman wanted to become a sister and similar to the, to the story of St. John Berkman's, he wanted to be a priest but got ill and died at a young age. Well, it seemed like this sister was about to, to die at a young age as well. But she didn't. After nine days of praying to the then blessed John Berkman's, a miracle. The sisters, Mother Superior, thought for sure that when they came back from the chapel that they would go to the infirmary and find her already deceased. Instead, she was sitting up in bed, received this apparition of St. John Berkman's. Quite literally, there in the room, they spontaneously cured. The doctors there have no earthly idea how this happened. That was the miracle needed for the Vatican to make John Berkman's a saint. We have dignitaries from Belgium. We have a couple of priests from Poland. A cardinal, one of only 120 in the world, will also be in Shreveport, along with Catholics from across the country. So many people will be coming in specifically to see the heart, but that means people are going to be here staying in the accommodations here, eating the food around here. This is something that's big for the church and any community. Alana Quillen, KTBS 3 News. The heart will arrive in Louisiana on December 8th and will be part of a Catholic service here along with a trip to Grand Coteau. Grand Coteau. Mm -hmm. Yes, and St. John Berkman's heart will head back to Belgium mm -hmm. on the 19th. What a story. It's I mean, awesome. It should be